Okay, 1983, 85, somewhere in there, I think 83. U1300L37, high speed ring and pinions, just decommissioned from the fire brigade, uh, was in service up to just this last year or this year. So it is in pristine condition. So she's got 53,000 kilometers, which is about 30, under 34,000 miles. It's a nine man, well, eight man super crew cab. If you put the bench seat in front, it's a nine. There's still texture left on the steering wheel. The, well, here's startup. We hooked it in the shop last night. I'm just gonna shut it off. Got an exhaust brake. This is cool. It's cool. Cindy, could you hit the horn button to the right of the steering wheel? You'll see it's a picture of horns. <laughs> You're right in the area. Nope. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, that's beautiful. So she's got a factory disconnect, battery disconnect right here, exhaust brake. This has the super cool air actuated clutch. So you can remote hit a switch and actually step on the clutch. Uh, <clears throat> that's for engaging the uh, overdriven PTO for the water pump. But you could do a switch on the lever here, like for the overdrive. And actually step on the clutch just using your hands. So if you got a knee injury like I often do, I've actually looked at incorporating that. And the blinkers, four-wheel drive up there, reverse, ether start, normal stuff. No tears in the original upholstery. It's unreal. Um, even the sun visors are not droopy. They're gorgeous. Back door opens all the way out. Has a factory uh, diesel fired heater mounted under the seat. A little lift set up on there. You can see what's under here, but there's stuff. You can take that out and use that's just for holding the uh, oxygen packs. The diesel fire heat actually comes out of a little hole in there, heats the whole cab up nicely. This cab is actually 10 12 inches wider than a regular Doka. It goes full width out to here. Uh, which is cool. Sorry, I'm not paying attention while I'm filming. Cindy, you want to go ahead and take this? And so we got here. This is out. Down for gear. Oxygen tanks, whatever water tank setup that's connected to the PTO pump. More gear, fire hoses go up in here. This is a cool little uh, step down setup. So you can get up and actually grab, heck you can even climb up into here. There was hose storage and ladder storage up here. And then this guy just Tires are, come on in. Tires are brand new. 
So literally, they have the tit still on them all the way around. So that's nice. 12.5 R20s. And then back here, let's see. This pulls down. Make it easier to get it out upstairs. Locks in. This setup here was for a Volkswagen motor with a mount on the back of this thing and slide out and had a lift set up where the guys would take it by handles, bring it down, it was a remote pump. And this is the exhaust, the little handle so you don't burn your hands to keep from burning your hands, obviously. Storage, storage. Fire Brigade put LED reverse lights on it up there, which are nice. And over here, we have the same flip down step. Hose reel, which is super badass. It's good stuff. They did LED lighting in here on both sides. Um, another rack. This flips out. I mean, what you're going to use this for? Don't know. I definitely have some excuses. So another something for that. In, in. Story. This guy just for extra fire gear. Water tank level. Another tip out drawer for gear. Water connection. Flip this side. Doors open all the way up, which is nice. And you can see there is a lot of room in this guy. So three here and three there in your offset. Actually, four. One, two, three, four, three. So seven, eight, nine. Wow, it's a nine-man crew cab. Holy crap. Yeah, it's big. And you can put a bench seat. That'd make it a ten-man. Lighting in throughout the cab at night. You just hit a switch. It lights up nicely. And this is a lot wider than a rig. It's wider than a Doka and longer than a regular Doka. And then... <coughs> Excuse me. Back up front. Just show this stuff through here. Perfect. Beautiful. Even the glove box doesn't have a crack in the plastic, which is rare. Usually that's split. Um, you've got, they did like a wrinkle finish paint on this thing. This is all original. Lube points. It's just a gorgeous example of a of a mog you just don't see them this clean anymore this light mast actually could be removed plugs into here and then this is the pump it's got hooks all underneath here for the bungee cords to take that off you hook onto there fill your tanks run your fire system red red that's just nice looks good see the quad horns up top which you heard before uh, no dings on anything and stay right here, Sydney. I'm going to open up the hood. Come up on in here. The engine is... Actually, would you grab my light and shine that in there? You need to eat off this thing. I'm going to go ahead and stand back with that light. Anyway, clean, beautiful. There's no, not even, you back off on the light now. Anyhow. Back that up. I actually like this one better than the, I've got a Mets one right behind me here that we've been working on. You can go ahead and shine your light on it. Problem with the Mets ones, the cab's got square corners on it. The doors use a factory Mercedes door up front, but then they let on a, a new panel here, which is always full of Bondo and gets destroyed. This is always full of Bondo on these, and then you have a custom piece of weird glass to fit in. 
I actually like this one because it's got the nice rounded corners through here, all the way through with a rain rail, and the door is very straightforward, simple, and in my opinion, it's a better door. So, again, super smooth when they texture painted all this.